Hi, fourth and fifth graders. It's Miss Trenere here with a lesson where we're going to learn a little bit about the history of Odetta, who was also called the Queen of Folk. A folk song is a song that is passed from one generation to the next with many versions. We're gonna have a read aloud and a chance for you to write some poetry about yourself. This book is a biography of Odetta, hailed as the queen of American folk music by Dr. Martin Luther King, she was a voice for change in the civil rights movement. She was born in Alabama at a time when people were segregated because of the color of their skin. You'll also hear a lot about Jim Crow laws in this book. These were laws that restricted people's rights based on the color of their skin. Queen of folk music. She wanted to perform folk and blues music because the songs felt true to her life and the lives of those around her. The music gave her a way to express her anger at the way black people were treated. And she was an important part of the civil rights movement. As a civil rights leader, she performed I'm On My Way at the March on Washington in 1963 before Dr. Martin Luther King gave his I Have a Dream speech. She continued to inspire others throughout her life, earning the National Medal of Arts in 1999. And she helped give hope to a grieving America with a performance of This Little Light of Mine after the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001. Starting with our read aloud, Odetta, Queen of Folk by Stephen Alcorn. This is also a poem. This is the story of a girl who plunged head first into the world, a baby with a birdcage in her throat. What to name this little ball of star stuff and song and light straight from God's eye? Odetta, the perfect name for a star this brown and this bright. Someone in Birmingham, Alabama, a long time ago, must have accidentally burned a Christmas ham. That's how the city of Birmingham got its nickname, Burning Ham. Burning Ham is where baby Odetta plunged into the world and grew and grew into a shy little lamb of a girl. Timid as she was, Odetta loved making a whole heap of noise with the help of Auntie's piano. In Lil Odetta's imagination, she was a wildly famous musician playing for a sea of her folk, Mama clapping from the front row. But to poor Auntie, Lil Odetta had a special talent for making that piano sound like a circus of pots and pans hurtling straight out of heaven or a midnight train railroading right through her living room. So the saying goes, one soul's noise is another soul's music. Now, Auntie loved her niece and all, but not as much as she hated those headaches her piano playing caused. So little Odetta had no choice but to shut the lid on all those pretty keys, zip the lip on her great big dreams that she could make black keys and white keys work together to create awesome sound. Cause in the deep south, round Odetta's parts, black and white, didn't mix so well. And when they did, it was mighty gray with a whole lot of noise, not music, noise. Sometimes things could get downright depressing. Folks bending their backs in cotton fields from can't see to can't see, spirituals blooming from split lips. Prison men on the chain gang dressed in stripes and chains singing songs like slaves working together like keys to create beautiful and furious prison songs. Spirituals, gospel, prison, and work songs. The cup of soup Odetta grew up on. Songs of joys and sorrows. Songs of rivers and sparrows. Sorrow songs sung by the miracle Marian Anderson. Tunes composed by cotton-picking greats. Melodies peppered with the uh and ah of 
back-breaking work. Times were crazy. Back then, this cat named Jim Crow was so popular, kids of Dada's age must have thought he was president. He had signs above every fountain in Birmingham saying, whites only and for coloreds. These signs made Odetta look down. Were there fountains for her and her mama? It made Odetta feel not quite right. She and mama were white or colored, just like the world wasn't up or down. She and mama were brown. One day, Mama announced they were moving to Los Angeles, California, some place way on the other side of daylight. Six-year-old Odetta never heard of this place in all her little life. Took her six tries to say it right, Los Angeles. The day they boarded the train to California was one Odetta would never forget. Twas the day she met President Jim Crow himself. His eyes were glacier blue, his hair the color of smoke. Seemed he came all the way from White House land just to tell Odetta's folk they had gone too far. They were sitting in the wrong train car. Everyone watched Odetta's folk load their lives up in their arms and exit the car dang near tiptoe, all cause Jim Crow said so. Odetta's little fists clenched, then unfurled. What could she do? After all, she was just a scared brown girl in this grown up, messed up world. This little girl from Birmingham, Alabama had no song to sing, no pot to stir her sorrows in. The bird cage in her throat imprisoned her bird, its door tightly hinged. Good riddance, Birmingham. In Los Angeles, city of steeples, there was only one sort of water fountain, the kind for thirsty people. City of wings and halos, city of hawks and sparrows. When Odetta grew good and tall, she understood Jim Crow wasn't a man at all, but a bunch of silly laws that made black folks pause and feel bad about themselves. J. Crow had no heart, no lungs, just daughters and sons. Mama could finally afford Odetta some piano lessons once she became a teen. Remember all those pretty keys shining like Afro sheen? Odetta peeled back that lid, still determined to make black keys and white keys work together to create sensational sound. Odetta found freedom by accident the day she opened her mouth, then closed her eyes and sang. For once, she saw no color. That's when she shook hands with harmony. The birdcage in her throat grew too small for her bird and its door unhinged. There it goes. There goes Odetta again with that bird in her throat. The way it flew out her mouth and soared high, higher than the angels fly. And how she loved to make that bird fly high then dip low. The way Odetta sang, not even Jim Crow could tell her no. Odetta sang and sang, making that bird soar higher and higher, its feathers sparkling in the sun and glistening with God's tears. Odetta couldn't just sing, she could sing. To sing is to sing like you need the music as much as the birds in the sky. Have you ever heard a song that comes from deep in the knees? Have you ever heard her baby cry? Baby, Odetta's guitar, pure heaven clothed in wood, strings, silence. Named Baby because it weighed a ton. Named Baby because she held it like one. There's the prince of pop and the king of rock and roll, but they're the egg white, so who's the yolk? Odetta, the queen of folk. Folk music, bulldozer of sound. The tunes that paved the way created the fray and made you cry like pepper spray. Watch poets pick up guitars, bob their heads, and pick their fingers numb. 
just to echo that Odetta strum. Watch women kink up their hair, look in their mirrors and feel better. Watch women rocking the fro known as the Odetta. Millions have huddled to hear her sing in the sun, wind and rain. Dogs and night, sticks and hoses, oh my. She brings us beauty, she brings the pain. She croons the rich stuff that oozed out the poor folk who didn't doze but bulldozed our paths to greatness. The microphone, her throne, the Odetta, her crown. When the queen of folk closes her eyes and sings hard, she travels all the way back down to the swamps, the cotton fields, the chain gang, the church, to Jim Crow said so, to heck no, we won't go. To her very first memories, spirituals and melodies peppered with the ah uh and the ah uh of back-breaking work. Odetta began carrying these songs all along, those tunes from way back, filling the endless cotton sack of her musical memory. The walls of sold-out concert halls leak tunes that grow out of Odetta's soul like a new bruise. The blacks and the blues. Songs of rivers and sparrows, songs of joys and sorrows. Now, we may not all sing the same, but we can all sing along. Let's sing with the Queen of Folk this wildly famous song. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Black keys and white keys singing together to make harmonious sound. And here's the last page, Odetta. And the dedication of this book is for my mother to whom I owe the omnipresent joy of music in my life. And we're gonna sing together that song, This Little Light of Mine. I've got my guitar, this is not Baby. And it's not even Miss Trenere Jr. This guitar was one that my father played. So I think it's really special. I'm gonna sing this song one time by myself so you can hear it. If you know it already, you can join me the very first time. this time. This song 
song is a folk song, which means it's been passed down from generation to generation, each sort of taking their own meaning from the song and adding their own touch to the song. And thinking about how Odetta used the song to inspire her people and everyone around the world to hope through times that were difficult, like through the civil rights movement that she was a big part of, through September 11th when she sang with the Harlem Boys Choir for New York and for America. And think about what that might mean to you now and how our lights can shine in this new difficult time that we're going through. And next we're going to be completing an autobiographical poem. The four lines are open for you to fill in with information about yourself and five lines are repeated together. So if we were to read our poems, there would be a part in common. Line one that you fill in is your name, then followed by this is who I am. Line two is where you're from and you can add a description. It doesn't just have to be, I'm from Seattle. Uh, and then you follow that by this is where I'm from. The third line that you can fill in is a dream that you have followed by this is what I dream. And the fourth line for you to fill in is what inspires you? What keeps you going? What gives you hope? What will help you persevere to reach your dreams? Followed by the line, I will not give up. So I'm gonna share my poem with you and I hope that you share your poems with me. Fifth graders, I will have this up on Schoology for you as an assignment. You can either email them to me, you can take a picture of them and send it to me. I will be going on your flip grids so you could send me a flip grid. Um, hopefully, if you want to get yours to me, you can get yours to me. I'd love to read it. Here is mine. Stephanie Trenier. This is who I am. West Seattle by the Salish Sea. This is where I'm from. I want to grow a garden of sound. This is what I dream. I will weed out doubts, plant my seeds, give it time. I will not give up. I'd love to see what you write on your autobio poem. I hope that you enjoyed our lesson today with our read aloud and history of Odetta, our song, This Little Light of Mine, and our poetry connection. I would love to hear about you and how you are connecting with yourself, how you are connecting with what's happening in the world right now and how you connect to Odetta. Bye for now.